Sunday, fun day. Let's get it right here for Forex Weekly Analysis here. I'm pretty sure some of you guys are wondering when I plan on doing it. And it's pretty early. So, all right. So that's based on the weekly chart here. Everything is going to be on the weekly chart. Uh, so, so far based on this candle, now this is a pretty strong bearish candle. Now half half of the wick was based on the bulls pushing back it up to 95.66 here on trading view. Okay, my next line of target would be to see if it will come to 96.4, break the trend line, break this downtrend, and maybe come back to test 97.4. That's what I pretty much see right now. And so I was looking for the US dollar to break 95 and keep going down and even further and maybe come test 94.8 and 94.6. That didn't happen. And so, um, so based on this price structure and based on the candles and this previous candle here that closed out on Friday, I would probably end up looking to buy some kind of retracement for the US dollar. Another thing to reconsider is that the government shutdown is still in the process, so you're gonna to have to pay attention to that as well. Once the government shutdown is done, the dollar is gonna try and rise back up. So it's a little quick analysis. I don't wanna make a full tutorial on this or a full, you know, a full view on, on what what could possibly happen. And so it could go down and go up, but basically what I see based on this last candle is looking for the bulls to come back okay so based on the economic calendar we do have a very important day here for the UK Parliament vote on Brexit this is a key key component to the pound so definitely pay attention to this I don't really know what might happen and so I'm not a fortune teller guys so just be aware that if you're not paying attention to the, the vote coming out for Brexit, you might end up losing a lot of money. Uh, let's see, what else? The pounds got their retail sales and consumer price index on during London sessions on Wednesday. And then we have import price index along with the retail sales. And man, I've got some more stuff, but uh, for the US, the most that I'd be paying attention, uh, the mo the only important thing I'd be paying atten attention to would be everything that's getting released for import price and retail sales group on Wednesday morning. Following that, we would be paying attention to uh, what is this? all Australia's home sales, consumer confidence Thursday. Really not too, I'm really not too worried about initial jobless claims. They do that every Thursday. So Friday, we are back to Canada. So Canada, and then well before that, we, I would be focused on retail sales for the pound, and then back to consumer price and the yeah, consumer price index for Bank of Canada. And then that is it. So now, like I said, you can see there's not a lot of, Vault. I mean, there's not a lot of high impact news during Monday and Tuesday. So guess what? You need to start paying attention to the political side, the government, or any 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 ec economic disasters be beyond beyond the economic calendar. So don't be looking at don't be looking at the economic calendar thinking that you're going to get you're going to get some kind of input behind the fundamentals. So make sure you understand that Monday and Tuesday during New York sessions, you might see some kind of retracement and you might see some pullbacks, especially during Monday and Tuesday here. Because Wednesday will be your kickoff on the more on the more high impact news here. Other than that, that's from my kid. I mean, basically for your, uh, what's asphalt goal? Let's see here. Gold, like I said, <clears throat> struggled to break 1300 twice. This came back. This wick did not even even come close to this wick. That's two wicks already. 
Can it really come back and target 1300? I don't know. I don't really foresee it for this week. Maybe long term it could target 1300, but not right now. So it's losing steam right now. And I would probably look into sell gold, maybe back to like 1279 from where I have it set right here, or maybe down to 1270 to break the trend line on the weekly and then come back down. So anything can happen. Just just be mindful of what might happen during Monday and Tuesday because there's not a whole lot of impact news going on. And you have to pay attention to what happens to the U.S. during New York sessions for Monday, Tuesday, and probably throughout the whole. Like I said, to be honest with, to be honest with you guys, New York sessions is by far the most important session that I would always pay attention to. It's not London. It's not Tokyo. It's not Sydney. New York sessions to me is by far the most important and the most volatile session that there is. So other than that, that is, that is it. That's all I got for you guys for my weekly analysis. Like I said, I don't want to make it too, I don't want to make it too, um, too in depth here. Uh, it's just short and simple and sweet for you guys here. So that's it. That's it for you guys. Thanks for tuning in. Get ready for tomorrow for the yellow MFX crystal ball contest. And then what else I was going to do? I was going to do something else, but I'll come back and um, I was going to talk about something else. Dang it. No, never mind. But I'll, 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 I will, I will mention that maybe tomorrow. Yeah. Tomorrow. So we'll see what's up with that. So.